everyone, this is Mike Check 95. As you can see her, there's audience member back there. So today, uh, we're going to be taste testing some new uh, hot spicy snacks. I have done the Loaded Nacho Pringle, Carolina Reaper Hot Cheetos, Jalapeno Cheddar Cheeto Popcorn, Taki Crisps, and uh, Flamin' Hot Mac and Cheese. After kind of recollecting my thoughts the last couple weeks, I don't recommend the hot mac and cheese really because it makes you feel like your insides are on fire. Be sure to check them out in the playlist that's at the end of the video called Less Spices. If you've enjoyed those videos and enjoy the videos coming forward and any other content like my movie reviews, my let's plays, my mashups, the variety channel that we provide you guys, be sure to like, share, subscribe, join the madness, join our Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the works. Let's cut straight to the chase with our first of three Pringle hot snacks. All three of these are scorching Pringles. So I'm going to start with the one that doesn't seem that hot. So this first one that I'm going to try is the Pringles scorching cheddar. Now, of course, to go over the design of the can, um, like I said before, I refuse to like the design of the Pringle Man now. The Pringle Man that I grew up with right here is the Pringle Man that I know and love. This one seems like a child drew it on the back of a uh, McDonald's bag. So yeah, that's deducted one point out of five. But the rest of it looks pretty nice. You can see the hot, the hot chip with the uh, spice and the melted cheese. Fortunately, that stuff's actually not on there. It's just the hot chip. So let's get into the contents of this can. So, oh. A little spice on there, a little bit of red. I don't know what to expect when it comes to this. Maybe just hot cheddar Pringles. So uh, let's get this first taste test. Oh, one thing that's going to be different from these videos versus the rest of them, I'm not going to be doing the uh, flaming Hot Soda test with it because I've learned that that basically dilutes the hotness of the chip. So I'm going to be drinking some nice agua if my mouth decides to burn to a crisp. But uh, speaking of crisps, here we go. Mm. There's a cheddar, and there's a spice. I don't know what's actually what kind of pepper that is. I'm not sure what pepper this is. You know what kind of pepper this is? Chili pepper? <laughs> are you just saying that because you know, or are you just making assumptions? I don't know. <laughs> well, it is spicy. Um, not as spicy as the loaded nacho Pringles, but spicier than the uh, popcorn cheddar jalapeno, I'd say that much. Still doesn't beat the hot Cheetos either. Uh, we did the individual test. Now it's time for the, the group chip test. So, in a group snack setting, this is still, it's, it's hotter than eating it one by one, but I'm not feeling like my insides are wanting to melt. I do recommend drinking water though. I would say milk, but our milk expired pretty much because it tastes like ass. It's not as spicy as I thought it would be. I kind of figured that this would be the weakest one out of the three that I'm going to be testing. I would say it's probably about a three and a half on the spice level. It's a really good snack. I like it a lot. Uh, I, I honestly don't know why I'm doing these videos. Maybe I'm just asking for uh, a hospital visit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I would recommend these. Um, they're not too hot. They're not too weak. They're pretty much like a perfect blend of like cheddar and hot spice. But uh, yeah, definitely give Cheddar Scorch and Pringles a shot. It is, ranking wise, the second weakest of the hot chips. So if you want to look at the ranking, here's my ranking list right here when it comes to all the snacks I've tried so far. 
Very enjoyable. Still wish the Pringle Man was still the same as the one I knew from my childhood. But, um, yeah, I was expecting more out of this. But at the same time, I kind of expected it to be that kind of week. So that is my quick thoughts on the Cheddar Scorching Pringles. Uh, if you guys want to give this a shot, you can find them at your local Walmart or convenience store. Pretty easy to find. Pringle cans are still pretty cheap nowadays when it comes to finding them on the chip pile. But this is Mike Check 95 Again, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe, join the madness, join Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the works. And I'm signing out. And I'll see you in the next hot chip or hot snack chat.